in the Kofu Basin, surrounded by world-famous mountains such as Mount Fuji, Mount Yatsugatake, and the Southern Alps, and by the rich nature of the Chichibu Tamakai National Park, lies the University of Yamanashi. In this wonderful environment, where traditional culture dating back to the time of the famous warlord Shingen Takeda is still cherished, the University of Yamanashi has educated many students and sent them out to the world. Let's look back to see how our history of research and education led us to the fusion of various fields of study. The University of Yamanashi has a long history, dating back to the Edo period. In 1796, the Kitenkan, a school controlled by the Tokugawa shogunate, was established in Kofu. As Japan modernized, the Kitenkan was reformed, and it became the Yamanashi Normal School. In 1949, the Yamanashi Normal School the Yamanashi Normal School for Youth and the Yamanashi Technical College joined together, and the University of Yamanashi was born. When the University of Yamanashi was established, there were two faculties, the Faculty of Engineering and the Faculty of Liberal Arts. By the mid-1960s, the Kofu campus had approached its current form. In 1978, the Yamanashi Medical University was opened, and the affiliated Yamanashi Medical University Hospital was established in 1983. In 2002, in the first ever integration of national universities. These became part of the University of Yamanashi. In the 200 years since its evolution from the Kitenkan, making use of both the knowledge inherited from past generations and the advantages that a small-scale university can provide, the University of Yamanashi has integrated various fields of research to educate 85,000 students and send them out into the world. One of these students is Dr. Satoshi Omura, winner of the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2015. Dr. Omura graduated from the Faculty of Liberal Arts, now the Faculty of Education, and returned to the University of Yamanashi after a teaching career to engage in wine research, which led him to the field of microorganism research, the field he won the Nobel Prize in. As the rich history of the University of Yamanashi unfolded, unique research was passed on from generation to generation. Let's take a look at some of these fields. The person who laid the cultural foundation of Yamanashi Prefecture was the Warring States period warlord, Shingen Takeda. At war, his military art and diplomacy, along with his powerful cavalry, made him an extraordinary leader. But he also made great efforts to improve the infrastructure and social systems of his land, creating the basis for our society today. Kai Province, where Shingen settled, is a basin surrounded by steep mountains, a terrain which inevitably causes flood damage. To solve this, Shingen created Manniki Forest, using pine forest as a retarding basin to prevent flood damage and protect crops. He also created the famous Shingen Embankments, embankments with several flood-controlling structures, such as the Seigyu, pioneering modern flood control technology. 
400 years after their construction, the Shingen embankments continue to protect the lives of the people who live in the Kofu Basin. The University of Yamanashi has continued to study this heritage through the eyes of modern science, producing research that creates the basis for the world's modern hydrology and flood control techniques. Today, Shingen's ambition to protect people from disaster lives on in desire. The Disaster and Environmentally Sustainable Administration Research Center at the University of Yamanashi. And the Interdisciplinary Center for River Basin Environment, which works to conserve and develop water environments around the world. In the northern part of Yamanashi lie the beautiful granite cliffs of Shosengil Gorge. And since ancient times, this area has produced high quality quartz. The processing technology of quartz and gemstones became an important part of the culture of Yamanashi. And even today, Yamanashi is famous for its jewel products. It is said that Shingen had quartz made into beads. And embedded them into his trademark military leader's fan. After World War II, as Japan's economy recovered and industry developed, quartz became an indispensable material for high performance electronic devices. But the supply of natural quartz could not keep up with the demand. Then, The Institute of Inorganic Synthesis in the University of Yamanashi began to research the development of artificial quartz. In 1954, researchers developed a method suitable for mass production called the hydrothermal method, and for the first time in Japan, they succeeded in producing artificial quartz. Furthermore, Using the structure of the natural Yamanashi twined quartz as a model, a high quality artificial quartz that became the basis for the spread of quartz watches throughout the world was developed. After many years of research that began with the artificial quartz development, the present Center for Crystal Science and Technology is developing cutting edge scientific technology. To synthesize various artificial crystals, including the world's first single crystals of high temperature superconductor. During the Meiji era, as part of the government policy to support new industries in order to stabilize national finances, viticulture and winemaking were encouraged. In 1877, Japan's first government managed winery was established in Yamanashi Prefecture, which had long been known as a famous grape producing area. This led to the birth of many other wineries in the area. Later, during World War II, Rochelle salt, made from the argol crystal that is produced when brewing wine, became essential for underwater sonar exploration. For this reason, winemaking became a recommended industry nationwide, with Yamanashi Prefecture as a major production center. In this way, winemaking took root in Yamanashi, and here, an institution specializing in fermentation and microorganisms, both essential to the winemaking industry, was established in 1947. It was the Institute for Fermentation, a part of the Yamanashi Technical College, one of the three schools that joined to form the University of Yamanashi. Since then, it has transformed into the Institute of Enology and Viticulture and led to the development of the wine industry in Japan, promoting research of microorganisms and winemaking, training brewing engineers. And sending them to all parts of Japan.
although it is adjacent to Tokyo, Yamanashi Prefecture is known for its abundant nature, and nearly 80% of its area is covered by forests. Because of this, from long ago, research into ways people can live in harmony with the environment have been carried out. Water and the environment were two areas of such research, but another, also important area was the research on fuel cells. A fuel cell is a clean and efficient device to produce electricity directly from hydrogen and oxygen, used for spacecraft by the Apollo program of NASA in the United States. At the University of Yamanashi, research on fuel cells began in the late 1960s, around the same time as the Apollo program, and in 1978, the Experimental Laboratory for Fuel Cells the first such facility in Japan was constructed here. The Clean Energy Research Center was constructed in 2001, and in addition, the Fuel Cell Nanomaterials Research Center was constructed in 2008. By developing key components such as catalysts and electrolyte membranes and related research, the University of Yamanashi has become one of the largest research and education centers for improvement of fuel cell performance in the world. The most universally valued treasure of humanity is health. The University of Yamanashi Faculty of Medicine, now the center of healthcare in Yamanashi Prefecture, began in 1978 as the Yamanashi Medical University. After integration into the University of Yamanashi in 2002, the Integrated Graduate School of Medicine, Engineering, and Agricultural Sciences was established. In 2019, the Yamanashi Interdisciplinary Brain Immune Research Center was newly established drawing attention to the importance of interdisciplinary fusion in advanced brain science research. The Advanced Biotechnology Center, which studies cloning technology and artificial reproduction technology that can be used to treat infertility, is equipped with 14 micromanipulators by which researchers can directly touch cells and other materials to perform treatment. This world-class facility trains researchers and technicians in the latest techniques and sends them out into the world. As you have seen in this brief introduction, throughout our over 200-year history, by fusing academic disciplines to create new fields of research, the University of Yamanashi has worked hard to develop human resources who will lead the next generation The Faculty of Education, which Dr. Omura graduated from, supports the academic foundation of the university and provides specialized teacher training with cultural, artistic, and physical education research alongside unique research into subjects such as early childhood education and education for students with special needs. By fusing their academic research, the Faculty of Medicine the Faculty of Engineering and the Faculty of Life and Environmental Sciences continue innovation beyond the boundaries of their respective fields, laying the foundation for new educational programs for the next generation. In addition, we offer courses not only for students, but also for other interested people in the fuel cell and winemaking fields and by training foreign students in fields related to water and sending them back to become researchers in their home countries, we are establishing an international network to solve global environmental problems. The catchphrase of the University of Yamanashi is regional core and global professionals. Our unique fusion of fields of study enable students to spread their wings and fly forth to play a central role in their local communities and in international society, 
with a spirit of inquiry passed down for over 200 years. <laughs>